The ice resurfacer is in a league of its own, scraping, cleaning, and flooding the ice in just a few turns around the rink. To make an ice resurfacer, they weld together steel pieces to build the main frame. The frame has to be very strong because it will support everything from the engine to the water tank. It's a load of almost three tons. Sparks fly as they grind smooth the areas where parts will be mounted. The sparks are actually steel fragments being sanded off. Next, they weld support braces with holes in them to the center of the water tank. These are called baffles, and the holes will allow the water to flow into both ends of the tank. Now they slide a piece of spiraling steel, which is auger flighting, on one end of a pipe. And they slip a piece that twists in the opposite direction on the other end of it. They weld a U-shaped paddle to the pipe between the two steel spirals, or flightings. The paddle is a critical part. The flightings will feed ice shavings to it, and the paddle will then toss them to a bin mounted above a water tank to be disposed of later. Next, a worker clamps the flighting to a hydraulic cylinder. He turns a lever, and hydraulic energy pulls the clamp drawing the auger flighting snugly to the pipe. As the clamp holds the flighting in position, he welds it to the pipe. Now they're solidly sealed together. Next, another worker places a long steel blade on a magnetic table. The magnets hold it down, while a grinding machine moves over it, sharpening the edge. Because the grinding generates heat, the machine also floods the blade with water. This cools it down so the steel stays hard. Now using a crane, they lower an engine onto the frame that we saw welded together earlier. Then they slide the rear drive shaft into place, and bolt it down using a pneumatic wrench. The tires for a nice resurfacer will need some serious traction. Each tire gets 92 of these metal studs. They drop the studs into a revolving feeder. The studs funnel down a tube to the stud gun, ensuring that it never runs out of ammunition. The road these tires travel will be nothing but a sheet of ice, and these studs should allow them to stay the course. Next, using a crane, they transfer the water tank to the center of the frame. The snow bin, which will hold the scraped ice, is next. They place it on pivot points at the front. Then workers slide the blade into place. They bolt it tightly, working from the center outward. The workers are shielded from the very sharp blade by a plastic sleeve that sheaths the edge. When the blade is secured, they remove the plastic. Now it's time to give the ice resurfacer a test run. The steel flightings twist towards the paddle at the center, as they should. Here's a close-up of that razor-sharp blade that will shave the ice. A rectangular scraper slides over the flightings, preventing snow from building up and clogging the system. This ice resurfacer is now ready for the limelight, and it's sure to be the biggest smoothie on the ice. <laughs>